Welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're pretty excited to have this opportunity. My name is Leo Dest with Group 337. Uh, special opportunity, really, to have a conversation with some folks. We'll do some introductions in that. But I want to thank Accelerize. I want to thank Security Matters, Andrew Landing, and the, and the team for uh, asking us to, to help participate and, and have a conversation, really, about an upcoming event that uh, is happening we called it Accelerize. It's through the Security Industry Association. Um, and it's a, a conference that's very dear and near to a lot of our uh, us that are within the industry uh, with uh, focused on young professionals and growth. Um, and I think what we, our purpose here today, what we we're hoping to do was to have just a conversation to highlight a little bit about what makes it special, give a little bit of flavor of what we're going to see at the show, uh, have a conversation really, and, and really with the ultimate goal, hopefully, getting everybody excited with, uh, you know, a massive amount of signups and, and, and people participating. So uh, look, hopefully you, you can keep us honest of how we do this. But so with me today, though, three special guests uh, that I think can show you sort of the breadth and depth of, of uh, the show and, and, and really the industry as a whole. Um, Tracy Larson with WeSuite, Todd Broadwork with ALC Recruiting, Zach Morris with ADT. I want to thank you all very much for taking the time to join. Cool. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. No problem. No problem. So why don't we kick this off? So Accelerize, it's coming up uh, August 23rd to the 25th. It's an online uh, uh, show, uh, it's, uh, which has been in person in the past, but through everything else that was going, it's now moved online. Um, ton of energy. Um, like we said, really focused on a young professional, focused on growth. Um, all of you are participating in a different way. I thought maybe if you would, if you don't mind, quickly just uh, do an introduction uh, to yourself and then if you could talk about how you're participating why it's important and really like one thing that you're looking forward to um so tracy why don't you kick it off sure thing hey everybody um i'm tracy larson i'm the president of we suite we're sales management software focused on this industry working with lots of integrators um and we've actually participated now really from the beginning uh we are a sponsor and um, one of the sponsorships we did last year, which we are repeating this year, is the Trivia Night. And um, it was a lot of fun. So be sure that's Tuesday on um, August 24th, 7 p.m. Eastern, join Trivia Night. It's a lot of fun. It, it was a great networking event. And it was one where um, also you learned some really random, crazy facts that can keep you kind of laughing and talking with other people. So I really enjoyed that. And I think um, what I've really seen year after year is that the education just keeps getting better and better. Um, you mentioned ener energy levels. That's probably the thing I appreciate most. And I'm really looking forward to several of the sessions, but most mostly yours, Lee. So maybe you'll share a little bit about what that's going to be. But yeah, that looks like a good one to me. So excited it really it wasn't necessarily that set up so as, as many people think but no i i appreciate that yeah we'll, we'll get into a little bit of, of what we're doing there but thank you tracy i appreciate that so todd what about yourself what uh how are you participating what's important to you uh and then you know what is the, something you're looking forward to cool so my name is todd broderick i'm with alc consulting we're a national physical and cybersecurity recruiter uh first of all lee thanks for the opportunity to be here today uh, we're excited. Uh, this is our first time being an event sponsor for the Accelerize conference. Also, we'll be doing a breakout session for any young professionals that would like to engage with us regarding their career or road mapping in their career. Um, so not only are we a sponsor, we'll also do a breakout session and talk about careers. Very cool. Thank you very much. And Zach, last but not least, you participate, yeah. I know, heavily in this. So maybe you could speak a little bit about that too. Sure. But then you know, what else are you doing there? Why is it important? What's something you're looking forward to? Yeah, for sure. So uh, I'm Zach Morris with ADT Commercial and, and you're you're right. I, I kind of get to engage in a bunch of different ways here, uh, both on the steering committee of RISE that's kind of putting this whole thing on, but on top of that, as well as a sponsor from an organizational standpoint and as a speaker on one of our panels. So uh, I kind of get to see this through a bunch of different lenses, which kind of makes it uh, a unique experience for me, but on the same time, I think there's also a lot of opportunity for uh, me to kind of get a get a view on a bunch of different ways in which companies are being able to engage. And on top of that, being able to kind of, from a young professional standpoint, learn a ton, 
um, and kind of get to grow in the way that we're hoping most uh, young professionals get to uh, get to grow through this conference. Yeah, no, and, 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 I, and I appreciate all the work and energy that you all put into putting this type of thing on. It's sort of like you create the arena for, for all of the rest of us to participate in that fact. And it's, I find it's one of the, the places that I get, we talked about the energy side, but I, I get definitely more out of it than, uh, than is put into it. It's really the, also the future sort of where our industry is at as things are evolving and they're changing. It's a great way to attract talent to do that. So um, my, myself personally, uh, we're participating. We, we sponsored uh, one of the sponsors of the events, which we, we did last year as well. We, we came a, a little bit bigger at this point and have really enjoyed that opportunity and sort of the exposure that it brings a, a smaller organization like ourself uh, and, and to be able to, to get our name and, and what we do out. It's a, it's a wonderful way to, to do that. The importance, in my opinion, uh, of it is to really um, you know, show the support to the young professionals, but then also, I think, give it the opportunity uh, to, to allow the external, like for like, people that are, don't necessarily, where, where do I find young professionals? How do we recruit? Um, what are they talking about? Sort of where do we find the next leaders of the, of the industry? I think being in the importance of me is to be able to, to allow that to happen. Um, so any way that we can support to go to do that. And the thing I'm looking most forward to it is outside of doing it. But as you said, Tracy, I'm, we're going to be keynoting it. Uh, and when I say we, I'm actually doing it with my wife uh, and, and partner. And what we're trying to bring is a presentation and a, and a perspective of somebody inside the industry and then somebody out. Um, and we talk through sort of her her impressions of what's going on with, with me. We're pretty open and pretty vulnerable when it comes to uh, uh, how we're handling you know, life changes. And we presented last year uh, and then uh, we're asked to come do it again. And we're going to show sort of where how things have changed. And for those of you, or everyone knows, things have changed a lot um, through, the, through the past year. So excited to do that. She brings a ton of it, uh, of energy. It's a, it's a wonderful thing that we get to do together. It's, um, you know, I, people get to finally start to see the, the way I, we live and we work and the rest. So it's fun on, on that end. So I appreciate the opportunity to do that. Um, Zach, specifically on yours, uh, yeah. your presentation, we wanted to talk about, and hopefully this will spark also a conversation around um, you know, and I'm gonna look at my sheet because it's a long title, but there's a, a panel of you on the 24th at 245. It's called Securing Values, Choosing Your Path to Profession and Partnerships. Um, on it, you'll have Scott Dunn and Kelsey Carnell of Access Communications, Mark Fack of Allegiant, and Kim Hooper of, of Amazon. I think that's a great uh, it's showcase of most of the conferences in our industry are, are so heavily tactical and technical and it's about product and things like that where this is you could see between me talking with my wife and, and talking we open about sort of what life challenges and that that we have and how we tackle them to here you're talking about values and the path and, and feedback so can you speak a little bit about like what it's going to be about you know why again i like the importance conversation they have here and then i've got a question for you uh after you do that so talk, talk a sure. little bit about yeah, yeah. What, what, what people could expect yeah, for sure. So it really kind of derived from as we look at the young professional kind of body or the audience that we're really uh, attending this, we want to kind of take on topics that we feel are going to be most applicable to them. And when we look at the young professional um, kind of body or, or group that are that's out there, one of the things we see over and over and over again is that when they look for both companies that they work for or, or partner with, as they do business, it's it's not simply just a blind pursuit of profit. Um, it's it's significantly more focused around um, kind of what what values does that organization have? What are some of those core pieces that go in there? And so we're going to kind of dive into some pretty pretty in depth questions from everything from ethics and and what it means in 2021 and moving into 2022 of of kind of identifying out. Kind of who's responsible from an ethical standpoint in an organization and and kind of where that balance is all the way to hey when you're selecting a job how do you how do you best identify what core values organizations have or if you're picking your next partner you're engaging with um you know from a, a b2b standpoint how do we kind of identify and look into okay what, what does that company stand for what's what's important there um because that is such a huge uh, kind of talk, topic of conversation. And we have such an amazing group of people having those conversations and coming from different backgrounds and, and different perspectives within the industry. I, I, I'm excited to hear what they have to say. 
I'm obviously going to put in my two cents, but I, I think there's uh, going to be a lot in that panel that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, no, no doubt at all. And I, I think, uh, Todd, if I was to uh, reach out to you on, on this, coming from the recruiting side, I mean, how, what are you seeing from a values conversation, if you would? Because again, it's not just the technical sort of attributes that somebody has. I mean, your thoughts on how that is shaping and changing as even not just young professional, but really anybody from an industry that I think, if we're being honest, has not always been open to having these types of conversations, right? Is a very blocking and tackling on a, on a wide scale. But now, uh, as people are, are looking for jobs and looking for people, how do you see the from the recruitment side, Todd, in, into the values? Well, I think it's an important time in the industry, especially with all the, the newer technologies and even the expansion and explosion with the access control and IP video. So I think from a young professional standpoint, and you know, understanding what, what our clients and our partners are looking for, uh, I think it'll be able to give us some insight on you know, what the young professionals are looking for, but also help them give, uh, give them some insight on what our clients and our partners are looking for from a career perspective. So uh, you know, I, I go back lead, you know, 25 years in the industry, and, and when I look back at when I started in the industry and the advice and guidance that I was given by my mentors, uh, frankly, it was invaluable. So I think that part of this conference will be uh, incorporating that um, in the discussions and, and you know, really giving the young professionals the opportunity to hear from, you know, hear from our side, but also hear from their side on how we can help them roadmap them in their career. So I think it's an, an exciting time. Yeah, no doubt. And then Tracy, thank you, Todd. Tracy, when, when you think about like with your product, that should, partnerships are a big part of what you do on that side, right? And um, and Zach mentioned the, looking at ecosystem side and, and the way that, that ethics plays into the into that and the value side of it. Um, if you could speak to maybe just a little bit, like what are how do you see, especially as a product that in a, in a company that takes, like I said, you know, brought together right as a full solution on that end. What, what are what are you seeing when it comes to the value conversation? I think that the values, like everything else in life, they start at home. And so your own corporate DNA is really important. Um, and we spend a lot of time on that at WeSuite. It's very important to us that, and our culture is, is pretty young culture and a very diverse culture. Um, so I think that we as owners are very aware of, of those kinds of topics um, because really at the end of the day, we're working with people and you've got to have great people with great product in order to really succeed. So we look for the same in our partnerships and those are, I, I include in partnership, anyone we work with. So when we're working with a client, it's the same. We, we really look to kind of match cultures and, um, and I think you get a lot of that as soon as you meet leadership or you meet people, you understand how they're led, how they're managed. So I think that um, all of us have become, I would say, not just more aware, but um, more open to conversation and sharing. And to me, that's part of what forms a great partnership and helps people really succeed together, even from outside um, organizations. So yeah. I think it's important. No doubt. And it's interesting too, is uh, sort of the, the reshaping right now of what's happened, right? As sort of the values and a lot of different conversations and things that got kind of ex not not necessarily exposed, but you know they they've shifted and they've changed, and the company's having to respond to them now, and so it's a very timely uh, uh, conversation to have on that. And I guess Zach, that that leads me to a question here that I had on it though was I thought maybe you can jump in as a little bit specific to it, but give sure. people yeah. a little bit of flavor, right? Uh, so so do companies' values change over time? And as a young professional and someone that is a young professional there. What do you suggest an individual should do to keep up the speed on your own changing values, but also on their companies? Like you may come into an organization for certain reasons and the values align as you grow and you change and things happen and life happens and the rest of it, the companies change, maybe there's leadership, all of that. Like how, how do you, how do you approach that or what advice do you have or how do you view it? Yeah, no, that's, that's a really great question. Um, you know, I've, I've had the opportunity to be with my organization for, for quite a bit of time so far. And, and you see, as time goes on, um, you know, I think when a lot of people were entering their jobs, um, kind of, you know, let's call it 10-ish years ago, the idea of businesses kind of posting out 
what their core values were or talking about that really fluidly wasn't something that necessarily happened a lot. And so as uh, kind of time has changed and, and this has become more of a hot topic, I think a lot of times people are starting to hear from their organizations, probably maybe a little bit more publicly than historically, uh, what those values are. And it kind of gives you an opportunity to have a little bit of moment of self-reflection on, hey, where do I sit with, with where these values are? What does that look like for me? And, and what I kind of always go back to or look at is, is how do you play the role of a change agent within your own organization? How can you actively take a role to shape what those values look like? And, and in the panel, we actually have a couple of questions where we talk about that of kind of whose role is it uh, to kind of determine what those values are of the organization. Um, and I think everybody kind of gets an opportunity as, uh, you know, if you're young professionals, as, as leaders, whatever role kind of you find yourself in, in your organization to really take an active role in those values that you have. And if you feel very passionate or, or pushing towards something, that's, that's something that you can change and shape and, and, and have a voice for it. If it's through a kind of business employee relations group, uh, you know, and taking kind of uh, a little bit of a stand specifically for something you may think uh, or you'd be really passionate about, or if it's simply something of, of, hey, you know, how you conduct business on a daily basis, what does that look like? I think there's so many different ways that uh, you can kind of let your values show. And in turn, I think for most organizations, um, if, if their employees are passionate about a topic or if they're pushing value, um, especially in 2021 at least most most businesses have a have an open ear to kind of hear that and change those over time to develop and then uh you know i guess unfortunately on the back end if those don't change then uh you you have the opportunity to move kind of to an organization that shares those those values yeah absolutely that's a wonderfully said and, and i would agree and i think I mean, if we're being fair, there's also the opportunity to allow some of that stuff to shape and take form on that yeah, side. Exactly. There's exactly. been a lot of changes, a lot of flux, you know, <laughs> I just think that the current climate and the conditions that we're currently in right now to, uh, to allow those organizations also to sort of either molt in sort of some of the old stuff that worked and then bring in new, or um, I think we, we call them old truths and new truths a lot where you know, our industry has been really heavily focused on old truths uh, that exist. And I would say values and the rest where it's like, we come from a value organ, like an industry, right? It's like keeping bad people out, keeping safe and safety. That's in some respects, it's a value that, 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 that our industry is sort of like built off of. And that is changing. Now we're letting like the right people in uh, the diversity and inclusion conversations that are happening at this point, the ability for young professionals, actually uh, organizations taking risks on, on new people within it. And like, just, it's just totally very, very different. And I'm interested to see the, the appetite that a lot of these places have, because, you know, generational, there's, there's a lot that's different there where a lot of times you weren't supposed to or allowed to and it was seen as maybe weak or whatever like to to bring some of those emotions and values to the table now so um, i'm interested to see how the the refactoring of our of our industry happens around those values and with the, the opportunity i think though those that will embrace it and do it are going to be set up for a uh you know long-term opportunity to not only attract the right proper talent but i think they'll meet the customer where they're at at that point too, because the they're, they're, people are going to be looking for it, not just to be a transactional relationship, but then sort of a, a, a value-based one. And, and, and yeah. Lee, I'd also make a comment on, on career change. You see over the last year and a half, we've seen more candidates that are making career change for value and culture than previous, uh, than pre-pandemic. So I think everyone's mind has, has, has changed or shifted. And um, so I think it's very different than it was a year and a half ago. Uh, is Zach, you were going to say something too? Oh yeah, I was just I was going to kind of mention uh, to to your point that you brought up of, of the kind of organizations being willing to uh, to kind of change and adapt as as this has come on. I think where we see that a lot on on our side from a rise committee standpoint is organizations' willingness to engage and jump in on things like Accelerize, um, kind of doubling down on some of the things that young professionals see in need, in need and uh, businesses being willing to say, hey, we're gonna invest in our, uh, our young people's future. We're going to invest in kind of the young professionals that are 
either in our organization or the ones that we'd like to bring into our organization and and kind of see what what they're interested in. And I think a lot of the businesses that have chose to take part of us accelerize, um, what an awesome opportunity for them to be able to hear either directly from uh, the young professionals through the platform we're using, and then as well through the, the topics that kind of we've all uh, chosen to hear and, and talk about, I think uh, that that shows right there that there's already a great group of people that are already invested in, in hearing what uh, the young professionals have to say. Absolutely. Tracy, your thoughts? Um, I think that, you know, one thing I've learned since I'm an old professional <laughs> that <laughs> I've been in this industry a long time. Um, and there's something about this industry that just kind of hooks you. And I think a lot of that is that it's an industry that does care. The other thing um, that, that has been really, um, I, I would say I appreciate very much about my career is that you know, the willingness to change and the willingness to embrace change because it does happen. And, you know, there, most of what we do is um, enhanced by being open, right? And learning from other people. And I think that that's something that really attracts me to this group. Um, what's this year, you know, when I went through and looked at all the different speakers and read their bios and read the things that they're speaking on, which I would encourage everyone to do. I think once you do that, you'll see that, you know, $199 is like totally worth the price of admission or get one of those uh, buy one, get one deals. But the, the neat thing for me is to see people who I've worked with stepping up and taking um, leadership roles at conferences like this, sharing their own knowledge. That takes some guts to do that. And um, I think that that's something that we should all embrace, embrace change, embrace being open to learning and embrace sharing because it is how the industry grows and changes. So that'd be my two cents. Oh, I appreciate that very much. And I, I, I think we're all old at this point in the industry. So it's all right. So we're, we're, we're with you. It's fine. It's uh, you're all right. So now. Well, I, I appreciate everybody uh, sharing that. I think, you know, if anything, hopefully this can give some a little insight into exactly what's going to happen. We can't, you know, I, I of all of the different shows and everything that we go to, this is the one that I believe you get much, much more um, from uh, participating and, and being there. It gives you great exposure like you all talked about. So it's the, August 23rd to the 25th. It's online. Accelerize. See ya. Um, you mentioned the buy one, get one free. Uh, we're doing one of those. So if you sign up, you'll actually get a a, a, a free one that you can give to anybody. Um, I would challenge the org, the companies in our industry that are you know looking to give back and to participate. There's no better place for you to do this. If you've got a group of young professionals, you want to do professional development, this is a wonderful place to do that. It's smack full of a bunch of good conversations, the networking. I was on the tool today. They're using this new tool that to, to be able to engage and to go. It's it's pretty, I mean, I, I found it to be uh, really cool and, and work that. There'll be a, a URL that we'll send out. I want to thank you all very much for taking not only the time to participate, to sponsor, to organize it, but to, to come here to share this conversation and to join me and and do this because it's yeah hopefully this shows that it's 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 a community that we're participating in and these are the ways that this community gathers together and and, and just creates great stories and, and conversations so thank you three for for doing that and then also want to thank Sia Aaron Mann Kelsey Carnell the Accelerized Leadership Team Andrew Lanning Security Matters Jake Brown everybody that has given us the opportunity to share our personal beliefs of sort of why this is a good place to invest your time and your money. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody there. So thank you, Todd. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Zach. Uh, get out really there and register, the right? Come What's on, that? Get out and register. Yes. Join it. Yeah. Okay. It's making a movement. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate cool. it. Thank you. Lee. Thanks, Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.